Hey everyone, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. Again, we are working with another CDK feature from Angular Material. This time, we are working with the CDK table. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I am posting new content weekly. First of all, what is CDK table and why it is good actually? Well, CDK table is customizable data table that we can use. It has fully templated API dynamic columns and also easily accessible DOM. By offering those features to us, we can use that same structure to create our own custom data tables. So, how can we use this CDK table? Well, first we would need to assign the data that we wish to use for this table, our data source. Usually, after that we would create our table rows that we could have, but that is not the case with this CDK table. With this CDK table, we would declare our columns first, where each column should have its own title and the data passed to it. Now, let's go back to those rows that I mentioned. Each of those rows should have declared columns that it can use. That is because each of those will be used to present our actual data in a table. And if this example was too complicated for you, don't worry, I have just the video for you. Well, you see, we already worked with the table component from Angular Material. The approach that we took in that video was pretty much the similar to this one. What I will do, I will leave the URL to that video in the description of this one. So, if you plan and you wish to create your own custom data tables, you can do that by following the video in the description. But with this here, I will wrap this video. Thank you all once again, and before you go, don't forget to subscribe as I post new content weekly. Thank you and bye-bye.